For the entire week, Bitcoin has not been moving anywhere, but in today's Bitcoin price prediction video, we'll talk about why we can expect another significant impulse towards the downside in the next days, and why you need to be ready with your buy positions. But first of all, what we are going to see. It really looks like that, of course, when Bitcoin got a push towards the upside, towards the top of our horizontal range, we are, for the past couple of hours, for the past couple of days, seeing a very impulsive rejection back towards the downside. When we hit the one hourly order block at the area of 26,300 US dollars, we got very sharp push towards the downside. And why does this right here look very, very impulsive? Now, pay attention to the volume indicator. You're going to notice, and I think you can agree with me, we are seeing a significant volume spike on a push towards the downside. And also, if we compare the volume that we got on a push down versus what we got the other day on the push towards the upside right here, definitely it was a volume increase. Not to mention, paying attention to the order flow back on the one hour time frame, you're going to notice that we have gotten 230 and also 201% volume increase on the push towards the downside. That being said, because this right here does look very, very impulsive, we can talk about our bearish elite wave count. We can simply go right now with our elite impulsive wave right here. We are going to mark our first push down as our first impulsive wave right here for the past couple of hours because this right here does look very, very choppy. And because we are trading in the middle of the weekend, we can expect the second elite wave to be formed. Then after the second one is formed, we can expect another impulse correction and another impulse towards the downside. And I think that most probably right now you're wondering, what is the price target for our second elite wave, where we can be looking for a brand new short or a sell position, and of course also later I'm going to tell you exactly where should be placed our stop loss. Now, if we go right now with a pure theory, that being said, looking at the Fibonacci levels and measuring the entire impulse towards downside with the Fibonacci retracement, we are going to notice that 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level, which is the first important target of our second elite wave, is going to land almost exactly at 26,000 US dollars. But why the 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level is such an important level we definitely need to pay attention to is simply because measuring the entire recent price action, the entire range right here with the volume, you are going to notice notice value area high exactly at our 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level and also what if we go on the four hour time frame of course we do know that Bitcoin for the past couple of months or actually for the past couple of weeks has also been seeing some kind of a very choppy price action at the area of 26,000 US dollars now if we measure the entire bottom price action also with the volume you can notice that the biggest volume cluster the point of control is going to land exactly and allow perfectly with the value area high of the recent price action right here and also with our 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level. So what can we say? If in the upcoming hours, in the upcoming days, Bitcoin is going to see a push towards the upside, we are simply looking for our second elite wave to be finished, preferably as mentioned at our massive area of resistance, which is our 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level at 26,000 US dollars, before we can be expecting another push down for our third elite wave to potentially be formed in the upcoming days. Now, why would I say that after we are potentially going to see right now a significant push down, we can be looking for a brand new long or a buy position, or why is the area of approximately 24, 23,000 US dollars such an important level where we can be looking for longs and buy positions is also going to be because of Plan B's very important chart. A couple of hours ago, he posted Bitcoin relative strength index on the monthly time frame, and you are going to notice that for the past couple of months, we are seeing the green area or the green dots right here. And he's also saying something very, very interesting right here. Funny how everybody buys at 60,000 US dollars, which is the red area, but nobody buys below 20,000 US dollars, the blue, or even below 30,000 US dollars, which is the green area. Now, look at this specific chart. Yes, for the past couple of months, we are seeing right now the green dots being printed on the RSI indicator on the monthly time frame. We know right now that with our technical analysis, we can potentially expect lower targets. So that being said, if this right here means that we can expect a significant bull market in the upcoming months, I would definitely say be looking to go with a brand new long or a buy position after Bitcoin is potentially in the next couple of days going to drop lower if our bearish elective count is actually going to play out. Now, if you would like to trade with us and actually short at 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level or maybe even go with a long or a buy after we create a brand new lower low, definitely secure some limited time bonuses with the links down below. And thank you very much 
if you also right now smashed the like button. Now let's go back into the charts and let me also share with you what can be a good buy. Not only Bitcoin itself, but also going with Ethereum Bitcoin chart, here we are going to notice something very, very interesting. We can see that on the daily time frame, of course, we are seeing some significant lower highs being formed that being set a very simple downtrend locally speaking on the daily and also on the four hour time frame. On the daily, we can also connect our lower lows with a diagonal level and you can notice that there is a falling wedge pattern being formed. On top of that, going right now with our RSI indicator, you're going to notice that on the weekly time frame, we are right to seeing a brand new higher low. The last time a bullish divergence was formed on the RSI indicator on the Bitcoin chart was actually where we bottomed out at approximately November 2022 at 15,500 US dollars. Bitcoin printed a brand new lower low, but the RSI indicator formed a brand new higher low, forming a bullish divergence and we got a significant bounce towards the upside. Now, look at this. On the weekly time, frame for the past couple of days, for the past couple of weeks, lower low on the price action of Ethereum Bitcoin chart right here, but a higher low on the RSI indicator. Bullish divergence in a combination with the falling wedge pattern, in my opinion, definitely very nice and bullish indication for the Ethereum as well. So I would say if Bitcoin in the upcoming days does see a push towards downside, as we said before, because of our bearish impulsive structure right here, I would say not only we can be looking for buys on the Bitcoin chart itself, but also on Ethereum and also maybe on the different altcoins. But yeah, if we write onto technical analysis, Ethereum Bitcoin chart is the one that as of right now does look extremely bullish, especially because of the divergence and especially because of this specific falling wedge pattern, which of course it is a very nice and bullish indication for the Ethereum price. Now, one thing that I do need to share with you is going to be a brand new level that was confirmed a couple of hours ago. And that was a brand new daily high term time frame area of resistance exactly at 26,237 US dollars. Now, if we do zoom in, into the price action, you are going to notice that our daily level is going to come up exactly at the top of our horizontal range, which means even if our 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level is going to see a break towards the upside, we do have the daily level, which is also a significant level because simply it is aligning with our 0.786 Fibonacci retracement level. Now, the reality is if you do go with the order flow and look at on the 30 minute time frame with our recent price action, you are going to notice that yes, for the past couple of hours, we are seeing some absorption happening. So we can see a higher high on the CVD indicator, which is measuring how much buying versus selling pressure is coming into the market. And we are seeing a higher high, but the Bitcoin price itself is forming a lower high. So yes, there is some absorption happening as of right now on the one hourly and also on the 30 minute time frame. However, I would still say if we are going to see an opportunity that being said, if Bitcoin is still, despite our bearish CVD divergence, do see another push towards the upside, at least towards our 0.5 Fibonacci retracement level right here we can be looking for a brand new short or a sell position. So let me right now give you a very nice and very high probable short trading idea. If we are going to see, as mentioned, a push up towards the 0.5, at least 0.5, maybe even our daily high term time frame area of resistance, we can be looking for a short. Our stop loss needs to be placed exactly above the high because the reality is if Bitcoin is going to push even higher towards the upside, above our previous high, our bearish LA wave count, our impulses right here are going to get invalidated. So nevertheless, we need to see a push towards the upside 0.5 or maybe even 0.76 where we do have our brand new daily level of resistance. But as mentioned, 0 0.5, it's also a significant level because at our 0.5 level, we do have many volume levels aligning literally perfectly. Value area high and also the point of control. Now, let me also share with you some very interesting chart from Bitcoin Archive. He's talking about Bitcoin cost basis continues to recover from the biggest drawdown since 2012. And on this specific chart, you're going to notice that we are seeing some pink waves, right? Realized cap drawdown is right now for the past couple of months curving toward the upside. It was also curving towards the upset back in 2012, back in 2015, and also back in 2019. And for the past months, we are also seeing a very nice curvature towards the upset. And he's saying right here, bottom is in. In my opinion, I would actually agree with this specific theory right here, simply because we have talked about on our channel for the past couple of months that we can be expecting a little bit of a bigger ABC correction. And yes, this also means that we are not looking for the break of our previous low. So on-chain data is saying to 
us the bottom for Bitcoin is in. Our technical analysis with our Elliott waves is saying to us most probably the bottom for Bitcoin is in. And in the upcoming months, also because of the RSA indicator from Plan B, we can be looking for brand new long or buy positions. And of course, we are going to prepare for a brand new bull market. And if you want to trade with us, if you want to buy different cryptocurrencies, secure the insane bonuses using the links below. Thank you very much. If you right now actually smashed up the like button, have a great day and peace out.